it's Christian the Work From Anywhere Guy and today we're talking about something a little different. We're talking about how to get a job. So if you're wondering how do you get a job right now or business is hiring or how do you beat out the competition, you're not going to want to miss today's video. Let's get it. What a lot of people don't realize is starting out as a service business owner, when you provide a service to a certain type of business, you're basically going out there and applying for jobs every single day. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's like you're getting a full-time job over and over again. And that's why business owners will make 10, 50, 100 times what the average employee will because they have 100 different jobs. But they figured out how to build systems to take care of those jobs so that it's humanly possible to have 100 jobs. Anyways, back in 2013, when I first started a service business, I had to go out there and get jobs over and over again. And I very quickly learned what works and what doesn't for jobs. And so if you want to go out there and get a 9 to 5 or you want to land clients, then this is important either way because the process works the same way either way. So the first thing you have to realize is businesses are always hiring. You don't have to go out there and look for a business that's hiring. As an owner of multiple businesses, I will hire any time that somebody can bring me a proposal that makes me more money than it costs me. So you have to understand that as a business owner, what you are is basically an investment manager, but you're managing capital resources like money, but you're also managing resources like time and then also human capital, your team. And so your job as a business owner is to deploy those assets in the most beneficial way to everybody involved. This is why companies like Tesla can make Elon Musk the richest man in the world because that money is more valuable in Elon's hands than anybody else. But I digress. So one of those resources that a business owner takes is human resources, human capital. And so when you go get a job, that's what you are to the business owner, you're human capital and you're coming in and the only reason they hire you is because you bring them more money in return than for what you cost. So if you cost $60,000 a year plus benefits, you better be bringing that business more than $60,000 a year in revenue or time saved. Otherwise, they will fire you. There's just no way a business owner can look at that payroll and say, we're keeping this person on even though they only bring us $25,000 a year and they don't have any other benefits. So you have to realize that anytime you can go to a business and you can make them more money than you cost them, they will hire you. It doesn't matter if they're hiring right now or not. So if you think there's no good jobs out there, that's absolutely not true. You're just making the business owner do the hard work. No, God, please, no, no. So what we wanna do is we wanna do the hard work for the business owner. So instead of letting them sit around and think up, who else could we use on our team that's gonna make us more money. You come up with a strategy, a proposal, and you bring it to the business owner and you say, hey, I know I cost $60,000 a year, but here's how I'm going to make you $120,000 next year. And I'm going to save you more time. So it's not more time managing me. I'm actually going to save you that time and make you twice the money that you spend. So now you're bringing an extra $60,000 to that business owner's pocket and asking for nothing in return because you're providing the plan. You're not making them do the hard work to figure out the strategy so that they can allocate that human capital. You're doing it for them because if every business business owner was an expert at allocating human capital, like people like Elon Musk are, then every business owner would be one of the richest people on earth. But most people are just not very good at it. So that's the number one thing is it's your job to come up with a strategy to make them more money. So I've done this before where I've sent it out to my entire list of 100,000 people at the time and I've said, hey, we're always hiring. Here's a jot form. Give me a strategy that will make me more than you cost me. That went out to 100,000 people. And the we're hiring emails are some of our most opened emails ever. You know how many people people actually submitted a proposal. Zero people, not one single person. Some people filled out the form with their name and they did not give me any strategy. So if you need a job, just go out there, find a way that you can add to the bottom line and then apply to your favorite companies. If you have to, offer to prove it to them. Say I'll work for you for free for two weeks and I'll prove to you that I can get this result for you. Now, the next thing that comes up is people say, well, I don't know how to get that result for companies. It's 2021 right now. You have unlimited resources at your fingertips, both free and paid. So either go out there and find a free course or a paid course about how to improve a business. Maybe you can generate them more leads. Maybe you can nurture those leads with email sequences. Maybe you can convert more of those leads with sales techniques. Or maybe you can put in systems and processes to reduce the need for other capital. Maybe you can improve their business in any of a million ways. All you have to do is map it out and show it to them and they will hire you. Now, I always tell the story where I was applying for this job way back in the day and I was in Thailand traveling and I was staying in a hotel room and I had the curtains drawn and I actually slept right through my interview. And I woke up and I realized that I just missed it and I emailed the guy and said, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry I missed the interview today. Like, let me know if I can reschedule. And he responded to me and he said, truthfully, just tell me why did you miss this interview? And I said, 
I slept through it. I slept through my alarm. I have no excuse. That's it. And he said, that's fine. You told me the truth. Let's have another interview. Now, at the time, this was before there was good internet everywhere in the world. And I was scrambling to buy a Wi-Fi card and stick it in my phone and actually get some service somewhere. So I almost missed the second interview. But you know what I did? I got on that call and I said, hey, here's my five-step plan to improve your business this year. And I want you to hire me over everybody else. Now, there were dozens and dozens of applicants for that job. And he still chose me, even though I missed the first interview and I almost missed the second one and I was flustered when I got on. But it's because 99% of people will not go to the effort to actually create the value for the business. Now, the cool thing about this is that you're selling yourself based on results, not hours. So even if you go out there and you get a $60,000 a year job, chances are the business owner at this point, since you've provided strategy, is hiring you for that outcome. So as long as you can provide that outcome for them, you can go and get yourself another job. Now you're making 120,000 a year. And then another job. Now you're making $180,000 a year. And this is how you make millions of dollars a year because as soon as that gets to be too much work for you, you can hire people for less than you're bringing in to do some of that work for you. And that's what a business is. It's really just having a bunch of jobs and then allocating resources properly so that you have the basically the least expensive person doing the work that's possible. And we do that by systemizing things and following a proven process and doing something over and over again that works. So if you're out there and you're looking for a job and you think nobody's hiring, just learn one simple skill that improves a business. Now, I can tell you that like 98% of business owners are completely clueless and they don't know what they're doing. They're so lost in the whirlwind and the day to day that you can easily come in and be a specialist in one area that they just don't have time to master and improve their business. So master one area of business, then create proposals and send them out to business owners. You can start on places like Upwork and actually find people who are already in the market. I have this plan, do you have 10 minutes to discuss it? And you might find that they're more than willing to hire you if your plan looks like it makes sense. And then lastly, once you do that, start to repeat that over and over again. Now you have five jobs, hire people under you, create systems, now you have freedom with your time, your finances, and your life. And that's how we go from having a job to business owner. But as you can see, the economy will never run out of jobs. It's just the people that put in the least amount of effort or don't show the business owner up front how they're making them more than they're spending on them, those are the people who are gonna really struggle to get those jobs. Now, if you can be the type of person who combines strategy with a skill set, strategy is what most people are missing and that's the actual plan. If you can be that type of person, then you can easily beat out 99% of other people. Because as somebody once told me, Christian, you don't need to run, you just need to jog. Everybody else is walking. If you can just walk a little bit faster, you're gonna be just fine. So if you're looking for a job, go out there, give this a shot. Let me know in the comments, does this help? Are you intimidated? Are you thinking that's not really getting a job, Christian? I can tell you, even if you want a nine to five, this is the way to do it. Sending in a resume is the biggest waste of your time and the business owners. You're just gonna be put in a pile and never looked at again. Doesn't matter what your credentials are. It matters, do you have a plan to make them more money? No matter what area that is, build skill sets, create strategy, get as many jobs as you want. That's all for today. It's Christian, the work from anywhere guy. See ya on the next one.